Welcome everybody with Lynn and Marios at Magpie Farm. In this week's video, we're going to be showing you all the favourites, the ducks, the chickens. We're going to check out the progress in the cottage. And also, we're going to be looking at our barn this week. We think we've got problems with the barn. It's got a few holes in there, as we checked out when we first came here a couple of months ago. But now we need to have an in-depth look because the winter is nearly upon us. So join us as we look over the barn. So let's start with the rabbits. Okay, let's have a look. How many have we got here? Oh, oh the eyes are starting to open. One. Two, three, I'm only checking them out. Four, five, six, and seven. There we go. Seven healthy kits from Mildred. Okay, let's go and check on June's. Right, June? Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yes, you can tell. Even though these are two days earlier, they are a lot bigger. Mm, and fatty, and their eyes are open more. Yes. So we've got one. Oh, gosh, look at the size of this one. <laughs> There's a fatty one. Two. Three. One, two, three, and four, and I'm getting curious as well. Four, <laughs> come back. <laughs> I've got to look at the rabbits and the new kids. Now it's time to go check in on the chickens and those ducks. Morning, duck ducks. How are you this morning, Duck Ducks? Okay, we've got a bit of a drama on our hands. Uh, we thought it was a really good idea when we was putting the duck coop together to actually put some uh, like styrofoam inside to help with the heating to keep it warm especially with the winter coming uh, that was a mistake and I'll show you why and this is why it was a mistake. They have decided to try and eat it and take it off. So I'm going to try and have to fix this because we can't leave it like that. Absolutely not. So the option we've come up with at the moment is unfortunately they're going to have to move back to the quarantine coop, the one we made for basically emergencies like this until we get a time to be able to dedicate to get this problem sorted but for now let's check in with those chicks we're at week three and a half and they say what a difference a week can make well just look at them 
they're nearly fully feathered. But they are right little poop machines, that I can tell you. So we've got about another four weeks and we're going to start introducing them in the quarantine coop. Hopefully the ducks will be out of there by then and back into their own coop. And that'll help acclimatise them to uh, being outside. We are going to do some work inside as well with uh, taking out the actually artificial hen for the temperature to help get them used to it. But hopefully that will all go well and we'll show you how that goes. Okay, somebody asked how we're layering the raised beds uh, that we installed last week. So we'll take a quick look and see how we're doing it. Okay, okay so basically I'm just putting weeds in this and then a little bit of ash uh, and some earth and just basic bins. It's basically, uh, it's basically like a compost bin. Uh, as we're not going to be using them until next year, we're layering them. So earth, garden material, uh, any organic matter, a bit more earth, layering them uh, to basically create a compost bin bed uh, that'll be ready for next spring with the breakdown of everything. So if you're thinking to yourself, uh, oh, I haven't got room for a compost bin as well as the raised beds, you simply use the raised beds as a compost bin until you actually need them next year. But we take a look at uh, the onion sets that were planted out and the garlic sets that were planted out around two weeks ago. So we planted a couple of different rows of those, uh, some in the no-till, no-dig area that we created, and also some uh, in the field. So let's have a look, see how they're getting on. So this is the sort of area that we used. I basically put four rows in, two rows of garlic, and two rows of onion sets. And I can see that the onion sets are actually starting to come up. As you can see, they're doing really well. We think it's because we've put a lot of organic matter into that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at our veg patch. Okay, let's go check out this cottage and see what's been completed this week. Well, as you can see, we're actually at the point that we're starting to paint. Things are moving on. And we're pretty happy with the results so far. Tell us what you think. As you can see, more progress has been made. The ceilings are finally finished and smoothed. Uh, it's coming along. Coming along nicely. Still a lot of work to do though. So for a reminder for a, our new Subscribers, this is going to be the kitchen area. This is going to be the bathroom area. And we've got the living room area here. And we're actually starting to paint the beams. And then you've got the bedroom area which is down here, which was the old cellar before we floor was ripped out and everything put in. There's a new window going back there, which we still haven't been able to get done because we're waiting on a custom made window for that, the size. As you can see, the ceiling has been done. Just this metal bit now that'll get painted up. Well, hopefully, we're going to be getting the heating going into the main house by the middle of November at the latest, so literally two to three weeks. So we've chosen uh, a chap that's going to help with that. 
Uh, we're going to be putting a lot of the radiators in ourselves. They're going to be commissioning the system and putting in some of the extra pipe. So I'll just show you exactly where the heating system is going to go now. Garage of the cottage, uh, which is basically a dumping ground at the moment. But this is our heating system. It's a big old boiler. You can see that there. So that will be going against the wall behind that ladder. And then the chimney will go up to the outside. And all our pipework will be fitted together. And eventually it'll run under the ground here. And go into the house around down by there. And then obviously just sneak around the front of the house and inside the house. And the external chimney, because we haven't got time to apply for planning permission to put a chimney up, so it'll be a temporary external chimney. We'll go up here. And we've also found some time to do a few little bits and bobs in the house. Uh, some TLC. This fireplace has been waiting to be grouted for only seven months. Uh, well, as the weather's changing now, there's less and less we can actually do outside. So we thought we'd take the opportunity and uh, actually get this grouting in. Uh, I'd never done it before, but I think it worked out pretty much uh, okay. Uh, it was a bit of a pain, because uh, it's a messy sort of thing, really, to do. Uh, but I liked the tiles, and uh, we did the job. Well, somebody's really happy with the work that's been done on the grouting. Or maybe it's just because the fire's going. No, she's just plain dead. She's quite happy cooking herself on a low to medium heat on the fire. But I think it looks pretty good. Then we got the rest of the tiles in and the grouting has actually been done. And we also spent two days uh, actually gathering our firewood for 2022. Uh, so we worked with uh, a few of the local neighbours and we uh, basically gather wood in the forest uh, that's been prepared and chopped up by Marios and uh, the neighbours and then we share the loads uh, between us. Uh, that was hard work uh, and took about uh, two days to actually get done. So as you can see it's been a busy day. We've got this and another load down from the forest today and we will cut it all up and that will be our firewood for end of 2022. And look what I caught happening in the um, living room when I was testing out some uh, new video equipment. Happening mm. over there with the cats. I wonder why we have holes in the uh, net curtain. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this barn. Oh. A number of you would have seen this before, this area. This is a potential area for uh, the goats that we're going to be looking at, one of them. But now we need to get upstairs and uh, let's have a look.
All right. Some of these boards are not the best Mario's to be standing on. So just be careful. So this is the top floor of the barn. And believe it or not, it's the first time I've been up here to have a proper look. And this is part of our problem. As you can see, a number of the tiles are missing. It's not like the ceiling is made of this wood. It's a uh, concrete underneath. Yeah, yeah. But somebody made this wood, I don't know why. Do we even break it off? Well, at least there's plastic down on here, so when it does rain or snows, it's going down on here. Yeah. Onto the plastic. Is it safe to walk over? Yeah. Are you sure about this? <laughs> I have the feeling, I have the feeling that some of these boards are going to collapse underneath me. Okay, hold on. It's actually closing, I can't, it's closing this. Okay, fine. Also very good taste here. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not sure if it's edible, but it's definitely good for bedding. Well, I won't be eating it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's basically our grass. Well, worst case scenario is we can put that on the raised bed. Okay, so this is our barn. Over here, we don't seem to have too many problems. You're always going to get a few holes in a barn, but over that side, that is where we have the issue. Oh. No, I'm just thinking uh, what we're going to be able to do to repair this uh, what? over here. The roof. Yeah. Well, we get a long ladder. Uh huh. And that's high. The top is interesting. Well, it's not just the top, is it? We got that bit over in the corner there. Yeah, because we'll have a look at that from the outside now, because I think that's where some of the beams have uh, sort of collapsed. Okay, so it's, are we thinking it's not in bad a shape as we uh, originally thought? I mean, all you have to do, all you have to do is look so. I mean, those, those beams, those buttons are rotted, yes, on the top. Which buttons? You see this one button, it's completely rotten. Oh, the one going across the top of there. Yeah. But we could place another button alongside that, couldn't we? Uh, well, if we do, we will lose alignment. Because every tile has to sit on the same kind of level, plane, like uh. yes. So if you put something over it, uh, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking underneath it. Yeah. That side. We could, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it doesn't go on top of it, so you don't create a, a misalignment. We're putting it just underneath it. To support it. Okay. To support it, really. Okay. So even though the hook of a tile will be on the bat tile, yeah, on the bat uh, button. Uh, the rest of the tile will be sitting on the good one, yeah? That's yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not very tall. I mean, the, this roof is shallower than the house house roof, yes? Yeah, so yeah. If we get a, um, the folding ladder, uh -huh. we, could, we could reach it, no problem. Okay, so it isn't too bad then. That side seems to be a lot better. Down here. Yeah, that part doesn't need much, really. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. 
it's just like lit, lots of little holes but you're always going to get that in a barn like this aren't you mm -hmm. it's this big hole especially well, little holes you see funny thing is about little holes is that the rain doesn't do uh, you have it with chimneys they're, they're used to be open because the rain nearly never falls in a straight line mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um, so that means that even small hole like this would be well I wouldn't say 100% good yes of yeah. course but but this I don't know 10 drops falling through it really wouldn't yeah. make any difference because those battens there's nothing wrong with the majority of the battens no only the top ones yeah. because they've been exposed for too long yeah yeah, yeah. But the main beams themselves are fine. Yeah, but although, did you notice that some of them are cut out, yes? What do you mean? The, the oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Cross, yeah, that, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, I, I don't know what, it, what can, you know. Rubber over in the corner there. Is that beam rotted or? Uh, it seems like it. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it though. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. A little bit of woodworm, which I'm not surprised about. Uh, no, it's not. It's hard in the middle. It's hard. As I was checking, it's hard in the middle. And of course, this is below the pigsty that we potentially want to use, or above the pigsty. Sorry. So yeah. Okay. Put the ladder now and have a look if you want. If, uh, if I can at least reach it properly. Uh, I wouldn't at the moment. <clears throat> I think we're going to need to get a cherry picker in here. Even with the tall, tall ladder that we've got, it's going to be very problematic. I think we'll only just about get a batten. The good thing is we don't need a really long batten. Just a batten there, but it's the battens over in the corner there is the issue. Uh, let's go outside and have a quick look at that. You know I'm not very good with heights. Uh, heights are not my fault. Yeah. Let's have a look at it from the other side, by you. Sure, they won't mind us going on there to have a quick look. Yeah, you can see it more from here. Well, uneven is <laughs> to be expected on like over a hundred year old barn. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we think our options are? I mean, the, the top of the roof shouldn't be much of an issue, I suppose, because... Well, if we get a cherry picker, it'll be a lot easier, won't it? I don't think it, it will be necessary. No? No. Hmm. Because I can easily reach with our ladders over in the both places. Well, you know, I'm going not... From the, from, going from the top, from the yeah. outside, would be actually harder for me. Well, first, it requires obviously rent and stuff, which may not be as useful because if you want to put the tile in, you have to do it. Actually, you can do it very easily from inside. Just slide it in. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that quick look at our barn. Uh, there's quite a few issues there, isn't there, Mariosh, that we uh, need to get done at some point, uh, probably before the winter, at least the, the worst of it. Uh, so no doubt there'll be uh, several videos about uh, that repair and uh, how we're going to manage to do it. Especially because I'm going to be pretty useless at doing that because I got a bit of a fear of heights myself. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how we get on.